Hello everyone and welcome back to another Code in Chat with Zach. Uh, today we're going to be following up on the last video for Cisco Packet Tracer and today we're going to be configuring two routers that will uh, communicate with each other within devices. So let's go ahead and start to set that up. Now today we will be using 2621XM and that's just a personal choice. Um, however, you can use any router that you see fit. Now today we will be using or setting up a serial connection between the two routers. However, you can use a gigabit or a fast internet or a fast ethernet with the same connection process. The only difference would be the uh, interface that you're programming. Um, other than that, it will be the same process. But typically, when you do see this in your textbook or on the internet, they will be using a serial connection, however. So that's what we will use today. All right, so let's grab two end devices. And let's hook them up first. So we'll go to our connections. We'll grab the cable crossover. We'll go from fast Ethernet 0 to 0. And again from here. And we'll put that in the 0, 0 there. Now, when you're configuring here for your connection, you can either go right over here and grab the serial DCE or the serial DTE, depending on which side that you're working with. However, there is an easier way, and if you're confused, the simplest way is to grab this automatically choose connection type. You'll connect it to there and to there, and notice that it automatically picks one. Now, in this case, it picked what we had to work with, which was only the FA, uh, the fast Ethernet. We want to use a serial. So what we need to do is delete that real quick and come in here and make a change. So we're going to come into the physical device view, turn off the router, and grab this WIC1T card, slide it in there, and turn the power back on. And once again, we'll do the same thing here. This gives us the serial connection that we need in order to have a uh, set up the serial device. Once again, we'll grab from here and we'll come across. And notice that it automatically chose the serial with the clock on this side. All right, so let's go ahead and start our network scheme. So on this first network, now remember a router separates networks. So we actually have three networks, one, two, and three. So we will have to set up three naming schemes, addressing schemes. So the first one will make 192.168.1.0 network, and we will configure the first um, fast uh, Ethernet connection, 0, 0, as 192.168.1.1, and the PC0, we will set 192.168.1.2. We'll go ahead and repeat that process over here, 192.168.2.0 network, with S00, uh, we'll, make, we'll make a note of that, that that's on router 0. S00 will be 192.168.2.1. And router 1, 0, 0, will be 192.168.2.2. And finally, our third will be 192.168.3.0 network with our fast Ethernet connection on the router being 192.168.3.1 and PC1 being 192.168.3.2 okay so that's our naming scheme for each of our uh, our port connections and so now let's go ahead and start configuring. So we'll go to router 1, go to the CLI. Remember here we just type in N and hit enter twice. And then we type EN for enable. And then config T for configuration terminal or configure terminal. 
And that takes us to the configuration. Now, from here, let's move this over so we can see. Let's go ahead and set a host name real quick. We'll just call that R0. Notice it changed right here. And now we're going to configure our connection ports. So F00, and we will set the IP address. Remember that when you're working in Cisco, that you only have to give it enough letters of the word so that uh, Cisco knows which command you're looking for. So you can do IP add, which will be IP address. And we want F00, which is right here. 192.168.1.1 and then your network mask which is 255, 255, 255, 0. We'll stick with the standard. Remember to do the no shutdown and make sure that it does say change to state up and now we have green. Alright, so now we will exit out of that. We'll go ahead and go into our serial int int for interface s Zero, 00 and again we will set our IP add and this will be 192.168.2.1 remember right there and oops I forgot my network mask just hit the up arrow and now here we will use a 255.252 network mask because we only have the two uh, address uh, the addresses needed in this network hit enter Hit no shut once again, and this router is done for now. Now notice this one did not turn on, and that's because we have not activated this connection port right here. And the other thing is that we did not set the clock rate. Uh, we can go ahead and do that real quick. Exit out of that. Uh, we'll set clock rate at, let's say, 64,000. Oops, we do have to go back into our interface. So that's int zero or uh, serial s at zero zero, and then we will type in clock rate sixty four thousand. Of course, there are multiple clock rates, so you can set it for whichever you need, and then you can exit out of that. Okay, so next we will go to our router two, our second router. Hit no, enable, oops, let's try that again, en, config t gets us into the global configuration mode, or, and now we have our config here, and now we need to repeat the same thing, so let's go ahead and host name, oops, might help if we actually give it a name, we'll call this r1, Next interface F00, IP address 192.168.3.1, and I forgot my mask again, and we are sticking with the default of 255.255.255.0. Remember to do a no shut, change state to up, good. We can exit out of that, notice it turned green. And now we can do our serial connection, which is S00. Now, here when we do our address scheme, remember this is 22. We can come over here and look at it real quick. Yeah, 22. And we did our 255, 255, 255, 252 and no shut. Alright, change that and we can exit that. So now, notice we have green lights and everything is connected. So uh, the next thing we need to do is go ahead and click on our PC, go to desktop, IP configuration and set this up. 192.168.1.2 We can leave that as it is for now. And now we need to set our default gateway, which will be this switch right here. So 192.168.1.1. And now we can come over here, do the same thing. Desktop, 
IP configuration 192.168.3.2 that can stay the same and our default gateway now is this which is 192.168.3.1 okay so we've set it all up so let's go ahead and try to ping and now we will ping 192.168.3.2 notice that destination host is unreachable so we can close that what that means is we don't know how from this router to get over to here it doesn't have that so we need to set up what's called an IP route so we can go back into here real fast and we will type in IP route now the route we're trying to get is this network over here 192.168.3.0 network which is a 255.255.255.0 net mask now how do we get there? Well we get there by this connection, this serial port right here, which is 192.168.2.2. Then we can come. We just did that one. Now we'll do this one. Once again, IP route and 192.168. And now we're trying to get to this dot one dot zero network. 255, 255, 255, zero net mask, and finally we get there by going through this serial connection. So that is 2.1. All right, close that. And to test our ping, now that we've set up both of our IP routes, we'll go to here, and then again we type in ping. 192.168.3.2 and notice we're getting a reply. Of course you can test that from the other side as well if you like. Ping 192.168.1.2 and again we're getting a reply. So now we've set up two routers connected via serial connection to two end devices. We've established three networks and we have them talking to each other. Remember, if you need to use a gigabit or a fast uh, ethernet, you can do that here as well. Just hook to those connection ports and the steps are the same. Well, thank you. If you have any questions, leave those in the comment box. If you like this video, like and subscribe. Thank you very much and happy coding.